Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Daniela. Daniela, how old are you? I'm 23. And what do you do? Um, I'm a medical assistant in dermatology. Okay, very cool. Um, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to play with my dog. Um, sometimes I go to the gym. I like to play tennis. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I like a man who loves animals. <laughs> um, very empathetic, always nice to the waiter, waitress. Mm. Um, oh, um, he's not nice to them. He's not nice to the waitress. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just overall, like, really gentle with people. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, deal breakers, probably, I feel bad, but probably kids, having kids. Um, yeah, that's the only one I can think of for okay. now. Okay, yeah. all right. So we yeah. did get some Papa Loons. Let's go ahead and okay. head on over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. Okay. John, why did we end up popping our balloon? I popped my balloon because I really don't like animals like that. Uh, oh, okay. That's people, okay. I be seeing people kiss their dolls in the mouth and stuff like that. Like, I, I'm not that type of guy, so. Yeah. And then you mentioned kids, you feel me? And I do got two shorties, so. Okay. It was a pop regardless, so, but yeah. you're fine, though, so I will approach That's you. That's okay. okay Thank it. you. Now, is John someone that's your type? Um, I don't really have a type, to be honest. Okay. I would, I'm open to a lot of, like, a lot of guys, so. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, John. All right, let's head on back. So, we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped, so I'm actually going to switch it on over to you, mm -hmm. and I'm going to hand you a pick. There you, Thank you go. And I am going to have you pop two of these balloons. So okay. I know you say you don't really have a type, but you know, you kind of know what you don't like yeah, when you yeah. see it. So of course. go ahead and pop those two, and then I'll see why you ended up popping after. Um, okay. I'll do two. <laughs> okay. And then one more. Um, okay, let's start right here. Your name and age? I'm Trey and I'm 25. Okay, Trey, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I uh, just wanted to hear her out, you know. She's not she's not attractive, she's cute. And so I just wanted to hear her out, hear kind of more about who she is. Okay, got it, got it. So is, we end up popping his, why did we pop his? Um, Probably not what I usually go for. I like your eyebrows though, and I do like oh, the pearls. You. I love pearls. Thank you. Um, Yeah. I think okay. that's all. Yeah. Got it. Praise <laughs> God. And then we did pop one more. Let's mm -hmm. head on back. Your name and age? Uh, Dante, I'm 25. Okay. And Dante, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Wanted to hear her out. Got to see what I would I think about, it, but I dear, I, I didn't want to be that person. Okay. So is she someone that is your type? <laughs> I, okay. So like, <laughs> there's okay. only two. There's only two things. Type shit. Your voice. It's kind of naggy. I ain't gonna lie. It kind of, I didn't like it a little bit type shit. That's all. And then also the like the body type kind of shit. You feel me? I was trying to like look past a few things. That's all. Okay. okay. Yeah. So why did we end up popping his coming close? Um. Look, I think the cowboy look is not for me, but it looks good on you. I appreciate you. Bro. So. Thank you, baby. Yeah, I think that's all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm now going to have you ask the remaining guys a question. Mm, okay. Um, oh, I have a good one. Okay. Um, what is your inner child into? Like, what, what type of things bring out your inner child? Okay. Start over here with your name and age, <laughs> and what type of things bring out your inner child? My name is Ryan. I'm 26. And the things that bring out my inner child... I think it's the same, like, I've almost always been into the same things since I was a kid as, a, as now. So animals, number one. Like, if I see a, an animal or a dog or something, I'm running over to it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> other things, that my inner child, I like sci-fi stuff. I like Bigfoot, aliens, whatnot. If I see that, I get excited. So maybe that. Might answer it. I don't That's know cool. if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and the answer to your question. Chris, 27. And I'll say something that brings up my inner child is probably basketball and anime. A little anime. I love animals too, but I don't think that brings up my inner child though. But <laughs> with basketball too, like I, I'm real competitive. And so like I'm, I'm really smooth. Like I like to be chill. But when I get on the basketball court, it's a whole different person. 
Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's go down over here. Your name and age and what brings out your inner child. How you doing? My name is Nati. Hi. I'm 25 years old. Uh, things that bring out my inner child, probably things like board games, you know, competing like that. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of little cousins and nephews and nieces, yeah. so being around them, they bring out my inner child, you know, playing with them. Cool. I like it. Name and age and what brings out your inner child? Yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Uh, that's a tough question, but I'll probably say like the holiday season, like Thanksgiving, mm. Christmas, uh, just, you know, everybody off work, people, you know, family coming to town, uh, spending time together, whatnot, like, it's, you know, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. That's a good one, too. Nice. Let's mm -hmm. head on back. Okay. All right. I guess I should ask you, too. What brings out your inner child? <laughs> um, <laughs> for me, probably um, finding, like, shells at the beach and stuff. Or, like, if I find, like, a little jellyfish or something. I don't know. Oh. Like, little, I don't know. <laughs> kind of weird, but I was like, finding stuff at the beach. Like, a little, even, like, little hermit crabs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I am going to have you pop one of these guys' balloons based off of what you've heard, seen, whatever it may be. Okay. Um. <sighs> Sorry. I know it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Sorry. Okay, why do we end up popping his? Um, I think the holidays are cool, but I just feel like there's very specific things that like bring out your like who you are like since birth. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So why did you have your balloon unpops for her? Uh, she's a pretty girl. Uh, very attractive. Uh, I love the hair. I like the curls, thank you know. You, thank you. Yeah. Now, is he someone that's your type apart from that response? Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's head back. And we do have three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. I have, okay, yeah, I have three. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, hmm. What is, oh, sorry. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you do in your free time? I like to walk, so I walk places frequently. I like shopping. I like, yeah, thrifting. I like antiquing. Um, that's pretty much it. That's my main free time activities. Mm -hmm. How about over here? What do you do on your free time? I ain't going to hold you. I'm pretty simple. Mm -hmm. I, I like to play basketball. Like I said, I watch a lot of anime, and I smoke a lot of weed. Okay. Straight to it, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I ain't going to lie to you. Okay. Smoke I appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's go over here. <laughs> okay, what do you do on your free time? Well, I'm pretty busy. So I only get so much free time, but whenever I do, I like to try new things. Um, so try new food, go new places. Mm, yeah. Um, I'm pretty new to Arizona, so, you know, just mm -hmm. discovering the area. You need to know the place. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what time it is. Time to um, pop. Okay. How many? Uh, just one. Just one? Mm -hmm. Um. Unless you said you got more to pop. You got more to pop? <laughs> Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, no, not okay. yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I might. Sorry. Okay. All right, where do we end up popping his? Um, I think it's two things. One, not super, like, physically attracted, but also, I think, like, I don't know. I don't even really have a problem with weed and stuff, but... I just don't want to smell like it. And I don't want you to smell like it either. Oh, you always smoke good. Um, <laughs> no, I believe it. I believe it. But yeah, some of it you just can't help. Some of it you can't control. So, mm. okay. yeah. I mean, oh, cool. I mean, I've been doing this for years since I was 12. I know how to control myself. Oh. But not, not to, I know how to not smell like weed, is what you said. <laughs> okay. Okay. 12. <laughs> so, you did have your balloon on pop for her. Why so? And she's pretty. She's cute. Not really necessarily what I'd go for, but I was trying to hear her out. Okay, our two remaining guys left. Any questions? Okay, let's head down over here. All right, what's your question? What are your love languages? Or do you have, do you have a top three mm. favorites? Yeah, that's a good one. I think mine are probably um, love languages. Mm -hmm. Probably, I like acts of service. And quality time is probably number two, but I think acts of service is like way up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How about you? What are yours? 
Access service is definitely up there. Yeah. Um, quality time is also up there. I'm also a physical touch. Honestly, I'm going to be honest, I like all five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Like a mix of all of them would be great, mm-hmm. but yeah, that's a good answer. That I like all those. Okay. Any questions over here? Um, who's one of your role models? Um, probably my dad. He's very, um, he's like the cook of the house. He's the, he's like everything. Um, my parents have been together forever, but my dad is like, he's a real like acts of service kind of person. Um, yeah, I think I take after him too. And he's just, he's very empathetic, even if he doesn't show it all the time. Um, yeah. So definitely my dad. Respect. Okay. Who's yours? Um, I have a few, but I would say Denzel Washington. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Random as hell. Uh, Denzel's just cool as hell. Like, cool, talented. Him and also like Donald Glover or Childish Gambino, because he's a multifaceted artist Mm -hmm. that I respect as well. So there's two. Cool. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) okay so we're down to two guys i am gonna have you pop one of theirs to see if the other is your match Mm. can i ask a question just a little question okay go ahead go ahead okay Okay. (laughs) um what is your red flag or your toxic trait so what's the toxic trait they have yes yeah yeah that I'm opinionated. So I have just strong opinions on things. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's your toxic trait? I'm a pretty great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, when I break up with someone, I like to break up on bad terms. I don't, I don't like to miss the person at all. So mm. that's probably my toxic trait, but. Other than that, I'm, I'm a pretty good guy, so. Hmm. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. Let's see why our guy back here ended up popping. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What's going on? Yeah. I was thinking about it, and I just thought they looked like a cute couple together. <laughs> um, I think she, I mean, beautiful, and I think you exemplify femininity, which is a really great Thank trait you. that is missing to the, in these day, like this generation. So I don't really have anything negative, I just wasn't feeling like a romantic spark. Uh, that was it. Okay. But you're really, you have so many great qualities that I liked a thank lot. That's you, why I, st- I stayed to the end because I was like feeling it. But yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, is he someone that's your type? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Thank cool. You. Well, let's bring out our last guy up here. Let me have you stand on this side of me and okay. I'll have you stand here. All right, y'all. Any final questions between the two of you? Now we can get into that later. I think I'm good. Um, um, I can't think of a question. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of a question, but I might have to pop it though. Okay. I, oh. Why did you want to pop? I know he beat you to it, but. I know, it's okay too. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think he's not super physically my type. Okay. Um, yeah, I do think you're handsome though, and I like your hair. You have really pretty hair. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, let me have you head back over there. <laughs> all right, well, that is all the balloons popped. We do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go thank ahead and give you. it up for her, guys. Thank I'll take you. Take the mic. Thanks. Thank you.